Hey up YouTubers, Simon B here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're keeping safe out there. Bit of clickbait, you probably clicked on the thumbnail and thought Simon B's bought a new bike. Yes I have. Well I've actually bought two lately. I spent them nearly 12 grand in the last week. Uh, but I've sold one though. Um, and I'm going to sell and I'm going to sell a couple more. So if anybody fancies anything, uh, you know on my bikes, give me a shout. Um, they're all for sale. But probably not this one and the one I've just bought because I've just bought them. So, would you like to see what it is? Where are we here? We've been here before, haven't we? Here we go, look at that. Seems to be the sort of place that um, we come to um, see about new bikes. So, without further ado, we'd like to see it. Yes, please. Here we go. So, about ourselves, a BMW R1200 RS. Is it an R1200 RS? I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it is an R1200 RS. Eh? What do you think of that? The GS has gone. Eh? Long live the GS. We had a ceremony when, when she went the other day. Eh? The priest had came round everything. Oh, dear. There was tears and everything. Oh, no. Yeah, so we sold the GS. Told you it's been up for sale. Uh, fancy to change. What do you buy? If you have a GS and you want something else, what do you buy? Well, <laughs> you buy an RS. Why? Because there's nothing else out there, is there? I just wanted something different. Still wanted something that was comfortable. They say that if you have a GS and you're not gonna ride it off-road, then buy the RS. It's basically a GS, but lower. It's got the same everything on it. Um, but it's just a bit more manageable. I think, words of wisdom here, that the the age of the big adventure bike is going to be on a de decline. People don't want massive and adventure bikes anymore. They want some small stuff. And I think the GS, yes, I know it's an awesome bike, and it's the best selling bike, but I think there's more and more people because the only people that can probably afford these sort of bikes, because you know, you're looking at 25 grand for a for a 22, 25 grand for a new GS fully loaded with all the panniers, all the gizmos on it. The only people that can afford it is, is us people that between that are over 45, 50 that can afford these things. And once you get to 55 into 60, they're just too big. And we're the only people that can afford them, but we don't want that big, cumbersome, heavy, bloody thing. We want something a bit more manageable. I did fancy um, a KTM Super Adventure 1290, blah, blah, blah. I wanted a V-twin, but I have bought something else. You probably saw on social media. We bought the Ducati Hyperstrada. Um, beautiful little bike. Pan the Hyperstrada, same as the Hypermotard, but it's got a comfier seat, a little bit of a screen, heated grips, comes with panniers and a centre stand. It's a bit of a sports tourer. Um, so that's fulfilled my need for a V-twin. Um, and then, what else is there that you can go to? You know, something that's as, probably as comfy, as, as good as a GS or an RS. There's not much out there, is there? Simon B's bought an RS. 12, R12, don't forget the R, the R1200 RS. <laughs> hey, the bike turned up, mate blog said I'd cleaned it for you I spent another hour hour and a half cleaning it and got it into the um, into the condition that um, my GS is are accustomed to you know what I mean still missed a bit down here and I need to do but um, yeah it's currently got a low seat on it at the moment which I've just found out which I'm in the middle of in, in the middle of middle of purchasing one just waiting for me to get back to me I want to pee um, but yeah an RS eh should we check it out for a spin? Um, yeah, why not? See you in a bit. Like and subscribe. So welcome back, YouTubers. You've had the intro. You send a new bike. Hey, why an RS? Well, what else is there out there? I've rode the GS now for seven, nearly eight years and um, I still wanted 
a bike to um, to tour on. I still wanted a bike that can take me places. I still wanted something similar to the GS. Um, but I just wanted something different. The the RS is um, basically a smaller version of the um, GS. smaller version um yeah a low a lower version of it i just wanted something that wasn't as big and bloody bulky you know I, I, i've been riding smaller bikes for quite some time because i think i think the the age of the big uh, adventure bike is um limited um i got sick of lumping it around you know don't get me wrong it's a bloody you know they're a good bike but um it's just just a bit bloody big and numb so I thought well what what is that I did fancy another v-twin but I bought a v-twin as you've probably seen I bought a Ducati uh, Hyperstrada um, so I don't need a v-twin because I was looking at the KTM 1290 1290 yeah 1290 Super Adventure S or R or something and I thought I don't take them off road so what's the point you know what I mean um, what else is the GSXR, GSX GT or something like that? Um, the big Kawasaki, and I thought, mm. so I've had me, I've had my GS up since last September for sale. Um, fully loaded, I've had, had everything on it, um, everything that you'd want on a bike and um, I, wanted it to, I wanted to sell it at the price I wanted to sell it at that went and then I wanted an RS I went looking and I wanted a fully loaded RS because everything on, on the GS went with it um, so I found this uh, bike down in down near Guildford somewhere it looked all right right mileage service history everything right with it the only thing that's wrong with it is uh, it's got a low seat on it a bit of a pain so I'm having to buy another one of them um, it came um, mate it said he'd, he'd washed it <laughs> I spent I spent an hour washing it and um, Got it to the condition that I think it should have um, probably come with. We went out on um, Friday. And um, done about 130, 140 mile on it. And um, yeah, it's um, it's a nice place to be. Is um, behind this, apart from this, like I say, this this low seat. I'm gonna get that sorted. Um, yeah, was up. The screen has um, a two, two position, and if you have it in the top position, um, I can ride. I rode it all day, nearly all day Friday, with um, the sunshade down, and you don't get a lot of turbulence in here. Um, oh, that's what's you're driving, bus like you did on the GS, you get a lot, you did get a lot of turbulence in, in this area and you couldn't really wear, you couldn't really wear, you could really ride the GS with um, with your visor open and just your sunshade. So that makes that's a good point. 
every piece of equipment is basically the same as the GS. Um, there's no hand guards. I'm sure there's something you can do with that, I don't know. It's got bar risers on it, which makes a little bit of a difference. Um, I was looking at possible the um, the Vunderlink um, and get the GS bar um, conversion kit, which I don't know I might get. But I did, I did, I did, I did on Friday get some numb hands. Now I don't know if any other RS uh, owners have had that issue. I don't know if it's because of my position, but I don't think my position, everything seems to be straight. I'm not, I've not got anything problems with um, my arms. So I don't know where that came from. I don't know if, it's, if it is actually through the bars or what it is. Um, yeah, and the brake, the brake need adjusting because my, 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 my knees are a little bit at an angle that um, I don't really, well, I, I'm, don't get me wrong, it's quite comfortable the way it is, in with, even with a low seat. But I think with just a higher seat and everything back up to normal, it would be, um, be a little bit better. Um, it's flickable, <laughs> it's light and flickable, it feels planted. Um, I've just put my booster plug on it when I came back. Friday. So now it's running a, a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's a it, it, it's a it, it's a it's a GS that, that's that's a little bit lower. That's all it is. So now I'm not going to take it off road. I've got no intention of taking it off road. But um, it's it's just a nice place to be. And and I think. A lot of people out there that have a GS that f that are finding it a bit big, a bit large, and a bit um, cumbersome and a bit unmanageable because they are the bloody big things. Um, I think you should consider this one of these. Um, there's a lot about at the moment. Have you seen the, the, you know, the colour the colour I went for? I didn't want a blue and white because there's quite a considerable amount of them about. Um, one thing I have noticed is that the, the, the gear change up and down is seems a lot lighter than the uh, GS and it's not as clunky, which is weird. You know, it's not it's not I don't think it's a placebo thing. Uh, you know, the first time I got on it it, 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 it goes into gear there's I don't know, it seems a bit weird, just a bit different. Even though I believe that, that it is that they are using the same engine and gearbox, the the clutch is um, seems lighter. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe my 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 fluid water changing or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, apart from everything, it's, it's just a it's just a GS. That's, you know, got a different fairing, a little bit lower. Is it a wise purchase? Yeah, I think it is. What else is there? Comment down below. What else is instead of an RS? Well, to be honest with you, I fancy either a 790 KTM or an 890. Probably not the 890, but I do fancy a 790R for an adventure bike because when I um. When I test rode that uh, CF Moto MT800, it's, um, it kind of stuck with me. I don't know. I just I think I just fancy um, the KTM 790 Adventure R. Just the R, so I can do a bit of um, easy green laning. You know, I'm not going to be. It's not going to overtook the, um, the 500 or anything but, um, yeah why not as they say a change is good as a rest 
So yeah, the um, the R1200 RS. It's just a sort of a nice place to be. About 150 mile we did uh, on Friday with it. Went over to Skipton, got some pork pies and Stanthorpe Butchers, best in the UK. They're in that area. I didn't film it because I was just, you know, couldn't be bothered really. Just getting used to this uh, this new bike. But yeah, it's um. It's just, it's just a nice bike, and not a lot of money. You know, everybody thinks, oh, I should get the, uh, get the GS, get the GS. Um, but I've been looking for one of these for, you know, quite some time. And we finally got one. More content on the, um, will be coming to the channel with the RS, a um, bit more We'll get off and do a bit of tours and we'll do a bit of um, long distance runs because that's what it's for. Um, yeah, so if you like that, do you have an RS? Are you fancying an RS? Uh, do you have a GS? You want something a bit smaller? Um, comment down below. If you liked uh, that video, please give us a big thumbs up, thanks very much. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As I keep saying, buy us a coffee. If you're riding out there, we've had a bit of summer, it's been alright, hasn't it? Um, ride safe, be safe and keep safe. And um, as they say, as they say, I shouldn't be, I should, should be concentrating on riding, shouldn't I? So yeah, if... Um, if you're riding out there, ride safe, be safe and keep safe. And as they say, as they say, we'll see you soon. See you in a bit. Like and subscribe.